travel through time and visit different eras, made to discuss history. Tom Reiger combined education and entertainment in one show. Let's pay a visit with these 35 Warner Bros. Hysteria facts you should know. Number 1. Kids Warner Bros. Every Saturday. Rise and shine for your Saturday shows. On September 9th, 1995, it started airing on the Warner Bros. Television Network, which discontinued on May 17th, 2008. After a month, it set out to get relaunched as an online network on April 28th, 2008. Number 2. Behind the Scenes of Hysteria. Unlike any other cartoon, they have made history. From 1998 to the year 2000, what turned out to be 65 episodes only had 52, with footage often reused. It's sad to say goodbye, but unfortunately all episodes of Hysteria got taken off the Warner Bros. site. Number 3. Tom Reiger's Take on History a man of producing shows like no other, Tom Reiger is of American descent with his job as an animation writer, producer and director. He was able to produce fantastic shows that left the cartoon world hungry for more. It's an easy way to study history with the help of hysteria. Number 4. Appearances of Looney Tunes characters Am I dreaming or are they Looney Tunes characters? Ilmer Fudd, Taz, and Foghorn Leghorn are some of them that made appearances on a few episodes. It's like a practice for Easter egg hunt. Number 5. Bugs Bunny in Hysteria Hide the carrots and the eggs. One of the known Looney Tunes characters, Bugs Bunny, travels with Hysteria. He appeared in the following episodes, The Wild West, The US Civil War Part 2, and The Great Heroes of France. Number 6. Duffy as a voter the next election draws near and so does Duffy. He appeared on the episode Hooray for Presidents. Number 7. Porky with the Dinosaurs If dinosaurs were the first to set foot here, does that mean Porky is the second? Appearing on the episode of the Dawn of Time, he's one daring animal. Number 8. Peppy Le Pou on the front line. The environment is for the animals. Peppy Le Pou appeared on the episode when America was young, along with the hunter to trade for a peanut butter and a tuna sandwich. Number 9. People wanted pepper on their food. Care for some pepper? Sang by the Kid Chorus is about how history started and got changed by none other than pepper. People at that time had no idea how to preserve and season their food properly. With that in mind, they set out to sail only to result in population growth and the demand for spice. Number 10. The 11th and a Half President Performed by the Kid Chorus, they executed the song entitled President for One Day. It's about how David Rice Atchison, the president of the Senate Pro Tempore, had to act like a president because Zachary Tyler took his oath on a Monday, March 5th, 1849, when Polk's term expired March 4th. Number 11. Writers from the Purple Prose Writing a heap of 37 plays, the Kid Chorus was able to summarize it into a song. That's the story told by the Bard. Shakespeare lived in Stratford-upon-Avon and continued with his wife writing plays that we recognize now. Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, Henry VIII are some of his works. Number 12. Cody Reiger as Loud Kiddington Ever heard a loud kid shouting through the hallway? Hysteria has it too. Cody Reiger is the youngest son of producer Tom and the inspiration for the character Loud Kiddington, a member of the Kid Chorus. Number 13. Luke Reiger as Big Fat Baby's Giggles We all know by now that babies can't speak yet. That's why the son of the show's producer, Luke Reiger, has provided it for us. I guess they're both offspring after all. Number 14. Nathan Reiger as Frago This father must get inspiration for his characters because of his sons. Nathan Reiger is the voice behind Frago. With a deep and frog-like voice, Nathan nailed it. Number 15. The Hysterians of the show. Game shows, interviews, and more. Consisting of four characters. They help us understand history in a fun and easy way. Number 16. Father Time as the main host. If time is gold, then is Father Time gold too? As one of the main characters, he represents time itself, and the one who travels because of that when the kids' chorus fails to straighten their facts. So, watch out for him if you don't want to get a whooping. Number 17. Big Fat Baby as a Sidekick Is it a boy or a girl? Nobody knows the gender of this baby. Even so, he still accompanies Father Time in his endeavors. The only downfall would be his diapers. When was it last changed? 
Number 18. Misinformation and her data. It's beauty and brains for this host. Misinformation hosts episodes and narrates supposed events. So if you're wondering where she is, she's at the information desk with her cue card. Number 19. Misinformation and Mr. Smarty Pants. If there is a misinformation, indeed there is a mister. But he's not just an ordinary mister. Described as the most brilliant man, Mr. Smarty Pants hides behind a pair of pants. Even though he's the shy type, he managed to catch misinformation's heart. Yes, they're soon to be husband and wife. Number 20. Rob Paulson as Mr. Smarty Pants. Voicing over 250 animated characters, Robert Frederick Paulson III is here. He's best known as the voice behind one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael, in 1987. As of today, he continues his career as an American voice actor playing minor parts. Number 21. World's Oldest Woman. Just like Father Time, we have another character representing time among the four main hosts. The world's oldest woman is for women throughout the years, you'll definitely get a wow. Number 22. The Kid Chorus. In charge of the songs, they join forces to perform them, running around and singing. They help us review history, so they put tunes and harmonies. That's why when you review, put on some music. Number 23. Cree Summer as a cappella. A throaty voice like Cree Summer casting Asians, we're quick to cast her in many animated programs. It is also used on a cappella, one of the kid chorus and the only black member. She was able to have a solo song on the many episodes aired. People wanted pepper on their food. Number 24. Jeff Bennett as Lucky Bob. Jeffrey Glenn Jeff Bennett is the voice behind Lucky Bob. He's one unusual kid, but the American actor, voice artist, and comedian agreed to it. Number 25. Nora Dunn as Lydia Karaoke. Portraying an employee for the Warner Bros. Network, Nora Dunn is the voice behind Lydia Karaoke. She interrupts the show to protest how the characters use curse words and are inappropriate for children. Other than that, she does her job well to censor content on the show's episodes. Number 26. Fitch. You can never get angry with adorable dogs. Fitch is a golden retriever voiced by two artists, Frank Wilker as the dog, at the same time Jeff Bennett played David Labrador. 27. Father Time. Specializing in voice acting, Frank Wendell Wilker is the voice behind Father Time. He also became a part of the Scooby-Doo franchise as Fred Jones and Scooby-Doo. He also voiced many other characters, and frankly, there's just too many to mention. 28. Pool Hauser. Other than voicing Father Time, Frank Wilker is also the voice behind Pool Hauser, a member of the Kid Chorus. This kid showed how unlucky he is and how temperamental he can be. Number 29. Misinformation. As a founding member of the Groundlings, Lorraine was first known as a comedian. Later on, she took a variety show, became an actress, and finally a voice artist. Lorraine even had a chance to write for a food magazine and other writing platforms. So, it is only suitable to think that she is one creative individual. Number 30. Charity Bazaar. The female lead of the kid chorus, Charity Bazaar, is one unique child, with her expressionless face. She is known for her catchphrase, I'm not happy. Lorraine Newman is also the voice behind Charity, other than misinformation. Number 31. World's Oldest Woman, or WOW. As an American voice actress, many roles were given to Tress McNeil. Her voice provided many characters in many animated series, especially those released in the 1900s and aired in Warner Bros. Animated Universe. Number 32. Pepper Mills. She is what I call a sugar rush. Unlike Charity, Pepper Mills is a character who is always hyperactive. She's also a part of the Kid Chorus, but only occasionally along with WOW. Tris McNeil also voiced this character. Number 33. Toast. For this character, Toast is the type of kid who goes with the flow. His skin color may be unusual, but it got inspiration from a burnt toast. And the same goes for his brain. Toasted. I guess that makes sense. Number 34. Susanna Susquehanna. Another unique kid is part of the kid chorus. Susanna Susquehanna. She's a young Native American girl who first appeared in the episode The Renaissance. Number 35. Cho Cho. In the first episode, Inventor's Hall of Fame Part 1, Cho Cho showed a bright face. She's an Asian girl who was always in a schoolgirl look. 